Here's some information about socks and liners. This video will help to explain what should be looked for when purchasing these items. This sock in the picture is typically the type of sock most often used by kids each year. The first feature I'd like to mention is the length. This is crew length. I want to point out that it's really important that you don't have anything that is too short because your boot, which is over your ankle, will rub on your skin and that will be very uncomfortable over the week. The second feature I want to point out is the material. This is merino wool. It's very important that you do not use cotton because cotton absorbs water and merino wool will actually wick the moisture away from your feet, keeping you drier as you hike. The next thing I want to mention is that this sock has a heel. I know that seems obvious, but right here, this is sewn into the sock. It's not a tube sock. I don't even know if they sell anything like that anymore, but just in case you're finding something that doesn't quite fit your son or daughter's foot, you want to make sure that their heel actually fits into the heel part of the sock and that that heel part isn't riding up their ankle or is too low on their foot. This sock is also mid-weight. That's really comfortable to wear, even though uh, a lot of stores will try to push a, a lightweight sock, which is great for every day or walking around town or things like that. You might even have some socks yourself of that type. But a mid-weight sock it has some cushioning. You have to remember your kids are on their feet from when we leave on Sunday. And the only time they're not walking is probably when they're sleeping. So this is super important that they have a little bit of cushioning inside of their shoe, their hiking boot. And this is a lot cheaper than insoles, which seem to be really popular but are very expensive. The last thing I want to mention about this is that these are affordable. You can look in L.L. Bean's outlet store. They have socks online. There's even some seconds that are produced and sold again in, in different outlet stores. Just make sure it's a good fitting sock that it fits this, the foot of your child, you know, according to the length of the sock, it has to make their heel fit into the heel cup itself. You want it to be the length is a crew length, not ankle. You don't want it cutting off right here because their boot will actually rub on their skin. And more dirt actually gets inside of their boot when there's um, a top of a sock right at the top of their boot. Now for liners. That would be these right here. We have found over the years that a liner sock helps the kids have a better time. They don't have blisters. We've experimented, uh, the leaders and some of the chaperones have experimented with some of the newer types of socks that are really, really expensive, sometimes triple the price of what you can get in the L.L. Bean store for, you know, anywhere between eight and ten bucks. Um, the socks that we've tried have not prevented us from getting blisters. We're not hiking in a way that will also make sure that your son or daughter is able to take off their boots it all depends on the weather. It depends on what we're doing. We don't necessarily have time to dry out our socks. A liner sock is made with polyester. It's made with nylon. They're super close fitting to your foot. And it actually makes that outside sock, which is a little bit loose to the foot, actually not create blisters because the liner is tight to the, to the foot itself. And that outside sock that's a little loose might move a little bit, especially when it gets wet. And especially when they're, we're, they're walking a lot of miles a day, um, it will actually slide over top of the liner. We suggest four pairs because we think that four is the perfect number to have. These items are required on our equipment list. We do list a minimum of four pairs of hiking socks and four liners. You can bring more than that. They're not that heavy. It's totally up to you what you want to do. Please do not allow a salesman at REI, EMS, Dick's, anywhere to tell you that what's on the equipment list is not really going to work for you. We know what's best. We know what, what has worked for 
thousands and thousands of kids and you really need to pay attention to what is necessary for socks and liners. If you have any socks or liners that you like us to look at and check out before you take the tags off, you always keep your receipts. Just bring them in, have your son or daughter bring them in and show them to one of the staff members and we'll definitely help you out. <laughs>